So we traded Kevin Byard to the Eagles for a fifth, a sixth, and Terrell Edmonds, who, before this point, I had no idea was even on the Eagles. But now, we're just selling our team for nothing. It's like a crappy yard sale in the Titans facility. And we're going to waste DeAndre Hopkins for this entire season. Because it's week seven. Actually, it's week eight. And he doesn't even have a touchdown. He's been here for eight weeks and doesn't have a touchdown. And he doesn't even have like 500 yards yet. Like, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. <sighs> well, now I have to do my primetime picks, which is going to be kind of depressing. So, but whatever. Welcome back to primetime picks. So, Titans are back this week. But first, we got to talk about Thursday Night Football. In two hours, the Buccaneers are playing the Bills. And I think, and my dad said that they're favored by 10 points, which is crazy. Because they lost to the Patriots, and they put looked awful. But I still think the Bills are going to win. I think they can catch up now, playing a pretty bad team. Next, on Sunday Night Football, we have the Chargers for Bears. So I thought this was going to be kind of good, but it's not anymore because it's Chargers for like it's Chargers for Bears. So trust me on this. It's either going to be close because the Chargers are going to sell like they do most times, or it's going to be a blowout by the Chargers. And I don't see the Bears winning any of these scenarios. So I think the Chargers are going to win. Then, on Monday night, I tried to record this three different times for stupid reasons. Just because I couldn't get to say Max Crosby's name right. So, Raiders versus Lions. I mean, I don't know what the Raiders situation is right now. They're pretty trash. And they lost to the Bears last week. And the Lions got destroyed by the Ravens, but I don't think it's that hard to pick this game. The Lions are going to win. And finally, the Titans are off of their bye week, and I get to watch football again. But for the first time with this a beautiful Derrick Henry jersey. Titans versus Falcons, the battle of old versus new running backs. Even though Derrick Henry is not old, so stop saying that he is old, because he's not. Okay, he's 29, so calm down, okay? Calm down. calm down. So, the Falcons' defense is all right. I mean, I got A.J. Terrell Jr. in Madden. He's pretty good. But I think that their defense is not as good as the Titans, even though we lost Kevin Bryant. But I think the Titans' offense, the Falcons and the Titans offense are still on an equal level, but I think the Titans defense is just a little bit better. And we get to see Will Levis for the first time this year play. And I'm really excited for that. So I just hope he throws deep balls to DeAndre Hopkins the entire game. Call me biased, but the Titans are going to win this game. Even though, actually, B. John Robinson is not even going to play it. So who are they? I mean, they have Tyler Igier, but still, the Titans are going to win this game. I don't care what you say. This is an accurate analysis of what's going to happen. We're going to be three and four, and then the week after that, I don't know who we play. But still, whatever happens later in the week, whatever happens later this year, I don't care. As long as the Jags, Colts, and Texans happen to lose then I'll be ecstatic. Titans are going to win, though.